I am Benjamin and we are back together on the Tasty Trail in Korea. Korean food is wonderful and it is of course dependent on the geography of the place like any food in the world. The climate is very important and the geography as I said because in Korea we have 70% of mountains. And we have uh, three seas all around the peninsula which bring a lot of seafood which is one of the specialty of Korea. So this is why we came in the southern part of Korea where we find all this so famous for its food tradition. Now we are in the Chaula province in the Kangjin County. Would you like to come with me? What a beautiful morning in Kangjin. I had a wonderful night and I'm ready for the, the Kangjin food experience. Oh, okay. Oh, man, it's a bit of a good Ah, Ah, it's a Ah, it's a good morning. Wow. Look at that. that that's, that's a beautiful table for the breakfast. That's the, the Kangjin breakfast. So beautiful, the shapes, the colors. Wow. Okay, let's have the, the, the breakfast. Clams, clam soup. Mm. Very good. Wow. When I look at this breakfast, I just wonder about the Kangjin's food. If this is the breakfast. <laughs> What, what is the dinner then? <laughs> really, we have to have a look at the, the famous Kangjin Hanzongshik. Here we are in a famous place in Kangjin for the Hanjongshik and I explain later exactly what it is. Look at this beautiful old house. Um, it's a Hanok, you know, Korean traditional house in which the restaurant is set and we'll go inside for the lunch. Take off the shoes first. Jukshil, the bamboo room. Okay. Oh, I'm, there is nothing. It's completely empty. I don't know if it's the right place. Well, actually, there is something. Come with me. i show you why it's empty. It's not that they forgot to bring the furniture or something. Actually, that's the system of this restaurant, and especially in that area, in the south of Korea, in the Cholado. Look at that. That's where they prepare the tables, and they bring the tables with everything on top, directly to the rooms where we have the lunch or the dinner. That's why yeah, the, the rooms are empty. Before going to Kangjin and discover the wonderful Hanjongshik or the Korean table d'hôte that we, as we, we translate it sometimes, I thought it was a good idea to come to one of these Baekban restaurants in Seoul. Baekban is the base, is the source of the Hanjongshik. It's, it's the most simple form of, uh, of, of meal in Korea. Baekban means the white rice. It's uh, Chinese characters, but it's not only, as you can see, the, uh, uh, the white rice on the table. It's a lot of side dishes and also, so we are going to speak about that later. First, I would like to introduce you my guest today, Dr. Uh, Raymond Royer. Hello, Dr. Nice Royer. Nice yeah, to meet you. Nice too. to meet you. Yeah. So you have been in Korea for a long time, I've been told. 
I've been uh, to Korea for more than 20 years now. All right. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm from Austria. Yes. So this is the baked pan here on the table. That's what we have. We have, as we said, the rice, the white rice, which is the, the center of the meal, we could say. Yeah, right? it's, it's, the, main it's the main dish, uh, even though we have a lot of different dishes, but it's called the main dish. And it's not always rice. It could be another grain or another... It could. It's not always white rice. It could be also um, natural rice, mm -hmm. yeah? whole grain rice, or it could be mixed body, with beans, like, uh, barley. or body, barley, garlic. Uh, all these different kind of uh, crops could be used for uh, as a main dish. What is important for health is the variety of what you eat. So that's something you could confirm as a doctor, maybe. The, 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 the of course, interest uh, of the... Uh, it's not just the different colors and uh, of course we feed the different uh, uh, and extras taste. and, and tastes. Uh, actually, taste itself has a very important impact in our system for our health. Each taste, sweet, sour, bitter, mm -hmm. yeah, salty uh, and spicy. Yes. And usually when you look closely, you find all the five, we call it five different tastes, we, you find all the five different tastes on the table in yes, a traditional exactly. Korean uh, uh, Yeah, we say yeah. that uh, even unconsciously, the Korean housewife, when they prepare a table, they try to have a balance of colors, taste, textures, exactly. uh, natural harmony, I would exactly. say. All right, so now after this nice introduction with Dr. Hoyer in Seoul, it's time to go to Kangjin to discover the Cholado style Hanjong Shik. Shall we eat now? Okay. okay, we can eat. Mm, very tasty, man. Mm, it is. Okay, let's start with the rice. Ah, but it's not rice, it's barley. Barley. Barley rice. Perfect. So you see on this table what is interesting is that we can see also the the characteristics of the the Kangjin area style of food. A lot of seafood. You have here some uh, shrimps or prawns, and that may be one of the reasons why the Kangjin Hanjongshik became famous. Uh, it's because it's, uh, you know, in the Kangjin area, you have the food from all these different areas, places, um, mountain, valley, and the, the, the sea. So it makes a real diversity. It offers a real diversity to have an interesting table. So let's try. So I'm going to try this uh, abalone with the, this sauce, maybe. Mmm, mmm, extra fresh. It's so fresh that the octopus is still moving in the plate. It's, it's wonderful. Wonderful seafood. So fresh and beautiful. And look at this mm, incredible shrimps and the clams. A ballone. Mm. I think it would be interesting to go directly to the seaside and see, you know, uh, on the spot this uh, seafood from Kangjin area.
have a lot of um, the abalone, the very expensive ones here. Beautiful, you know the color is nice too. It's a very, uh, very um, expensive too, and people love it in Korea. You know that bajirak is uh, uh, the bajirak clams are very good for health because they are full of uh, uh, B2 vitamin, which is a very important vitamin, especially for children, for the growth. And also, we say in Korea, but apparently it's true, uh, scientifically speaking, that it's very good for the hangover. For the hangover. Look at her, she has a full basket already and me nothing. Or maybe is it maybe because I'm too talkative? Maybe I should focus. I found some but they are like very small. Too small, so I don't want to pick them up. Ashupta nega oje ba me sulan machoseo. Sul machata mo inal manach wa sul tende. It's too bad because yesterday night I didn't drink alcohol, so I cannot see if there is any good effect. Ah, really, it's better eh, when you come directly on the spot, you get them from the tidal flats, you clean them, you, you boil them like we did, and really taste even better. It's wonderful. It's really nice to see you. Ah, so I think it looks better no? now that we, we have been directly to the harbour and I've seen the, the auction of all this wonderful seafood. But um, I think now we have been to the seaside. Uh, what, be, what about going back to the, the valley, to the plains of Kangjin? And uh, for example, we should focus on what is so important on the Korean table, which is the uh, jang. Duenjang is the fermented soybean paste. The same that we use for the very common um, uh, Duenjang chige or Duenjang cook. This is what I have here, and I'm sure you will find it on almost every Korean table. Ubiquitous soup. So good, and so good for health. You see, we have tofu, we have pieces of zucchini, some shrimps, clams, but the, the hero of this soup is the duenjang, fermented soybean paste. I think it should be nice to go together and have a look at the way we make this duenjang. <laughs> Why we came here? We came for the Duenjang, the fermented soybean paste. Annyeonghaseyo. 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 Yeah. What have you been doing? Duenjang made. Duenjang made. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we can have a look at that. That's the the top, the big jar, and this is the meju. You see the fermented soybean, which has been made as a block. And left in this uh, water, which in in a brine, actually a mix of water and, and salt, for at least one month. Meju tongan tamgeshosunika meju. 
Nadia, 60일 당갔어요. 60일, 예, 거의 yeah, yeah. 두달 정도. 예, yeah, 예, yeah. yeah, 알겠습니다. For two months, two months. So you see, remember, always we put some of the charcoal and also some red pepper for the bacteria, actually, for better conservation. And we take out the the lamp, the block, and we mix, and that's what we are going to do now. Okay, okay this way. Yeah. 그럼 가르쳐 주세요. 제가 잘 모르니까. 해서. Okay, so we open the block. Yeah, yeah. So you see, you still have the beans inside. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some of the soy sauce, very clear soy sauce, yeah. in order to make it oh, more. <laughs> to make it more <laughs> like a face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we have also some of the the bean paste block which has been uh, ground as a powder that we add. We add a little bit for the paste. It okay? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what are we going to do? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Surprise? Yeah. 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 So it's a cucumber preserve, yeah, cucumber yeah. which has been preserved yeah. in the duenjang, in the soy uh, bean paste. Look at that, change completely the color and it's completely dry. And uh, you should have a look at, the, at this, please have a look here inside. The color of the duenjang, completely dark and almost dry. And inside you have the preserve of cucumber. Oh, ego. 지금 나, 뭐 이렇게 반찬으로 먹을 거야? 예, 예. 어, 맛있겠다. 보리밥에다가? 보리밥. 예. 물 말아서, 예. 묻혀서 먹으면 아주 음. 그만이에요. 여름 반찬. 와. 예. 이거 이게 몇년 됐습니까? 이거요? 지금 3년도 3년. 넘었어요. 3년. 와, 3 예. years in the jar. 예. 이게 이제 또 넣어서 예. 이렇게 눌러 놔두고, 된장으로. 음, 그렇구나. 맛있겠다. 예. All right, so here we have all the ingredients. You see the yolmu, the radish that we have been uh, harvesting in the fields. And now it's time to mix everything. So that's the yolmu, the radish kimchi made with the duenjang, which is the soy uh, bean paste. The duenjang. Kimchi, so of course we have to put more yeah. duenjang. 이 여름에 네. 이 여름에는 이 반찬이 제일 좋아요. 즉석에서 예. 우리가 대절 들에, 반찬이라서. 예. 들에 가서 콩밥 밀집에도 밭에서 배, 이거 여, 열무 뽑아다가 바로 된장하고 고추장하고만 갖고 가면은 이렇게 버무려서 음. 먹어요. 거기서. The best the banchan side dish 네. of summer time because you go directly to the field, you get one and you mix with uh, everything that they have made directly in the place. Mm. 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 Fresh, not too spicy. I like the, the, the sour texture, uh, sour taste because of the, the vinegar. 
and okay. Mm. And I like also the fact that there are some oh, carrots. Yeah. Gives a, a, a sweet, sweet okay. flavor to the, to the kimchi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Time for rice. Yeah. And this is the body. The barley rice. Yeah. Body papi. Body papi. Ah, my favorite. So this is uh, all about Duen Zhang, all about the, the bean paste, yeah. uh, the soybean paste. So soybean paste. Yeah. Here we have a soybean paste uh, soup. This one is a cucumber preserved in soybean paste. This is a radish in soybean paste sauce. And this is a kind of uh, a, a, a Pancake, I would say. Mm. You see, a living proof in front of your eyes about how important is the duenja. Everywhere you have in the by the side dishes, in the soup, in the salad, and uh, you eat with the meat with everything. Uh, it's the center of the Korean diet. It's the famous jang. And without the jang, you don't have Korean food. You see? Mm. Kangjin, Kangjin, Kangjin County, thank you so much for everything you gave us today. The delicacies and all the other treasures of your area, which are these sceneries, for example. Today we had the chance to go to the sea and to witness the seafood at the harbor. But we went also to the fields to uh, discover the barley, barley food in Korea. We went also to the bottom of the mountains to discover the duenjang and all the jang, a very important part of the Korean food tradition. And especially I had the chance to explain about something which is for me the center of what I said, the, the, as I said, the, the, the philosophy of the Korean food tradition, which is the hansang charim. On one table, at once, you have all the meal. So it was, I think, a, a very good opportunity for us today. And now we are in, in front of this extraordinary, uh, beautiful landscape uh, under this nice pavilion. I have, you know, the fresh air coming, and uh, I had my uh, glasses of some glasses of uh, Dong Dong Ju rice wine. So I feel ready for the best moment of the day, which is a siesta, having a nap under the pavilion. So now I just say goodbye to you and I give you a rendezvous for our next meeting during the uh, Tasty Trail with Benjamin. See you next time. So we came in this very nice village. You see in the Cholado, especially in the Cholanamdo province, we have a lot of very interesting places to visit and especially places like this one. Not very famous, you know, nothing special except that it's full of charm. It's uh, authentic, old villages with this kind of very narrow streets, beautiful places. I'm on my way to another beautiful place, by the way.